Look, Alfred. There goes Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Really, Mama? You mean he's the one who led Santa Claus through the fog by lighting the way with his big, bright nose? That's right, dear. Gee, I hope when my nose grows up, it will be just as beautiful as Rudolph's. Here comes Rudolph. Here comes Rudolph. Maybe he can help us. Hello, fellas. What's the trouble? One of our acorns rolled into this hollow log, Rudy, and it's so dark in there that we can't find it. Don't worry. I'll poke my nose inside and you can scurry in through the other end and look around for it. All right, Rudy. Gee, it's just like daylight in here now. And there's the acorn. I've got it, Rudy. Thank you, million. You're very welcome, I'm sure. What a wonderful reindeer Rudolph is. You said it. He's got a heart as big as his nose. Oh dear, here comes Rudolph. I'd better put on my dark glasses. Hello, Rudy. Hello, Orville. Are you having trouble with your eyes? Oh no, it's just that we owls aren't used to bright lights. Oh, whenever your nose happens to pass by, I put these glasses on for protection. Oh, I didn't realize that. From now on, I'll always warn you ahead of time when I'm in the neighborhood. Thank you, Rudy. You're very thoughtful. It sure is fun to romp through the forest and visit my friends, especially when everyone is so happy. Sob, sob, boo-hoo, sob! Why, Mrs. Wild Goose, what's wrong? Oh, Rudy, I've been trying to candle some eggs, but the wind keeps blowing the candle out. Sob, it's so very upsetting. Why not try using my nose? The wind can't blow that out. Oh, what a lovely idea. Well, well, come this time next month, I'll have another mouth to feed. My, my. Look at this one, Rudolph. Twins. It was very sweet of you to help me out, Rudy. I don't know what I would have done without you. Ah, uh, that's all right. Now remember to come to the hatching out party next month. No party would be complete without you there. Thanks, Mrs. Wild Goose. I won't forget. Meanwhile, at Santa's workshop. Let's see now. I think I'll put Rudolph at the head of my sleigh team again this year. Then I'll have Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Mixer and... Shanna, 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 Shanna! What's up, Winky? We found two children outside. Children? Well, well, bring them in. Hello, Santa Claus. My name is Judy, and this is my brother Jack. Pleased to meet you, children. How in the world did you get here? Oh, we're not really here, Santa. We're just having a dream about the whole thing. What do you mean we're having a dream? This is my dream, Judy, and I brought you along. Oh. <laughs> well, no matter whose dream it is, I'm very glad to see you both. Here, have a candy cane. Just turned out a fresh batch for Christmas. Oh, thank you, Santa. Now I'd like to show you around my place. Is there anything special you want to see first? Yes, Rudolph, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Fine. Let's go outside and look for him. He should be playing nearby. Rudolph! Oh, Rudolph! Coming, Santa. We have two little visitors who want to meet you. Their names are Jack and Judy. Pleased to meet you, Judy. Pleased to meet you, Jack. Oh boy, wait till I tell the kids at school that I shook hands with you. They won't believe me. Rudolph, please tell us about the time you led Santa sleigh through the fog. God, oh, gee, it wasn't anything. Go ahead, Rudy. Don't be bashful. Well, uh, er, uh, if you insist. It all started when we tried coming in for a landing. The fog was very thick and visibility was zero. Behind me, I heard Santa calling. Santa Claus to Rudolph, Santa Claus to Rudolph, drop to 500 feet, approach north by northeast, can you make it through the fog? Then I said, Rudolph to Santa, Rudolph to Santa, fog very thick but will come in slowly using my bright red nose to light the way. That's all there is to this story, children. You see, it really wasn't much of a feat. Oh, you're wrong. Why, if it weren't for you, there might not have been any Christmas at all. Well, uh, maybe you're right at that. Sure, where we come from, you're very famous. I'm famous? Me? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Of course. You're on radio and television, and we sing songs about you and everything. My, my, I'm famous. Imagine that. My goodness, look at the time. Go on, children. 
I want to show you my sleigh, and Rudy is doing the workshop to help get all the toys ready. Goodbye, Rudy. See you later. Famous. Me. What a surprise. Jack said they sing songs about me, too. Isn't that wonderful? Come on, Rudy. Everybody's waiting. There's a lot of work to do. You can start by painting these blocks. Radio, he said. And television. Ah. <sighs> Rudolph the famous-nosed reindeer. That's me. How exciting. I wonder if they put my picture in the papers, too. Rudolph, you clumsy fool. Now look what you've done. You can't scold me like that, Winky. I am famous. What's all the fuss about, Rudy? Is something wrong? Yes, I'm tired of being picked on. Nobody treats me with respect around here. Now, oh, Rudy, we're all working hard to finish the toys and... Well, I don't have to work at all. I'm too important for work. In fact, I'm taking the rest of the day off, and the rest of the week off, too. From now on, instead of working, I'm going to spend all my time just being famous. Gee, what makes Rudolph talk like that? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm afraid there's only one thing I can do. Until he changes his attitude, Rudolph is off the team. Tish tish, it looks very bad for Rudolph. Yes. I guess Santa found out that he's getting too big for his nose. Your name is off the Christmas list, Rudy. It doesn't matter. Santa's probably saving me for a very special job. Is that why you left me off the team, Santa? Am I going to do something more important? No, you're staying home. Sure, haha. <laughs> I knew there was something special that I... Staying home? But Santa, I... I don't understand. It's very simple, Rudy. You've become too conceited and uppity lately. The spirit of Christmas means that we must all work together. But instead of doing your share like the other reindeer, you've caused nothing but trouble. I don't care. You can't scare me. You're just jealous of my beautiful nose. Look, fellows, I'm Rudolph. <laughs> Look at me, everybody. My nose is bigger than my head. <laughs> hmm. Let them all make fun of me. See if I care. Everybody wants a nose like mine. That's what the trouble is. Just look at it glow. What beauty. What a spectacle. My oh my. Hi, Rudy. What are you doing? It's none of your business. I can't waste time talking to a lot of unimportant rabbits. Why both of your noses put together don't make one like mine. Gee, I wonder what's bothering Rudy. He's never acted like that before. I can't understand it. There's no sense in hanging around here another minute. Nobody appreciates me anymore. I'll run away, and then they'll be sorry. Hmm, now let me see. Which way should I go? I know. I'll head for the place where Judy and Jack live. I'm famous there, and everyone will make a big fuss over me. Yes, sir, I sure am smart for a red-nosed reindeer. <laughs> Please, Mr. Wolf, you're making a big mistake. I'm Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. I'm f famous. Oh, help! Well, well, at least I got rid of that awful wolf. Not that I was afraid, of course. A red-nosed reindeer isn't afraid of anything. Oh, Mr. Bear, you don't understand. I'm Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, and... Gee, there's another hill straight ahead. Maybe I can roll all the way down and escape like I did before. Oh my! This isn't a hill at all! Whew, what a fall. It sure is a lucky thing that I landed on my nose. I got the better of that bear too, if I say so myself. Now there isn't anything left for me to be afraid of. <laughs> Oh dear, that sounds like a l l l l lion Please, Mr. Lion, don't hurt me. I don't mean any harm. I'm just a poor little red-nosed reindeer far, far from home. Oh, please, Mr. Lion, please spare me. I beg you. I implore you. Hey, there isn't any lion here. It's just me, Grover Groundhog. Groundhog? That's right. There aren't any lions at all in these woods. B but what about that awful roaring I heard? That was me too. I sneezed. I had the sniffles all week. Well, well, what a relief. <laughs> you sure were scared for a few minutes. Me scared? I should say not. I'm Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer.
Rudolph the who knows what deer? Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, I'm famous. Haven't you ever heard of me? No, uh, I don't get around much these days. Oh well, it doesn't matter because I'm running away from Santa and I'm going to the place where Jack and Judy live. Running away? Oh no, wait. What's the matter now? You can't run away, Rudolph. You'll get lost in the woods and you might freeze. Ho oh, ho, don't worry. I know how to take care of myself. This too, some people put trees in the funniest places. Imagine that groundhog thinking I would get lost. What a silly idea. Nope. It is a little spooky, come to think of it. Oh, these look like bear tracks. M maybe I'd better head this way, just in case. Eek! More tracks! Go. I guess this is the way I really wanted to head. Gee, there are tracks here, too. This is terrible. I've been going around in circles for so long that I'm beginning to feel like a donut. I'd better stop and ask directions. Excuse me, sir, but can you tell me the way to- What's the idea of waking me up in the middle of the night? How's about a gay sleep with all the terry hooting going on? Ouch! Of all the birds in the forest, why did I pick on a woodpecker? So now what do I do? I've got to get moving, but which direction should I take? I know. I'll do just what Santa does on clear nights. I'll follow the stars. Oh boy, there's a star right up ahead. This is easy. Hey, what's the big idea of following me? Haven't you ever seen a firefly before? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Firefly. Excuse me. Hmm, some animals just have no manners. It's no use. I've been pecked, pushed, pummeled, and pounded, and I may as well face the truth. I'm lost. Oh, what a fool I've been. I should have never left my nice, comfy home. It's dark and scary here in the woods, and it's getting c colder and c colder every s second. Oh dear, look at my beautiful nose. It's turning purple. The light went out. <laughs> it's frozen solid. Now what will I do? I can't see a thing without my nose to guide me. Maybe I can keep running until somebody who knows me comes along. Oops! Help! Help! I fell through the ice! Save me, somebody! Save me! Hmm, I think I heard someone shooting for help just now. Gee, there is someone shooting for help. And it sounds like the little reindeer. Help! Help! Oh, help! Santa! Santa! Winky! Mrs. Wild Goose! Jack! Judy! Oh, please, somebody save me! Be brave, Rudolph! Keep your nose up! I'm coming! Grab this vine, quick! Oh, thank you, Grover! Now, now pull yourself out! Hurry! Here I come! Don't let go! Ah, so you've gotten into trouble just like I said. Yes, Grover. My nose went out and I didn't have a light to guide me. Well, I hope you've learned a lesson, Rudy. What good is a guiding light if you don't know where you're going? Oh, Grover, <laughs> you're right. You're right. The question is what to do with you now. You're much too cold and tired to go back home tonight. It's too far anyway. <laughs> I'm so unhappy. I know. You can spend the night at my place. Oh, thank you, Grover. You're very kind. I'll fix some nice hot acorn soup and you'll warm up in no time. It sounds wonderful. Here we are. Come right in and make yourself at home. In there? But Grover, I can't fit into your house. I'm much too big. Oh, yes. I forgot about that. Wait a minute. Your nose can fit in anyway, and that's the most important part. Hmm, you've got something there, Grover. Yeah, boy, Rudy. Poke your head right through the doorway. I'll cover the rest of you with branches to keep you nice and warm. There we are. Now just keep that hot water bottle on your nose, and in a little while you'll be as good as new. Thank you, Grover. This is fine. How's the acorn soup, Rudy? Very delicious, Grover. <laughs> I'm sure glad you don't have to spend Christmas Eve alone in the woods. Christmas Eve? I forgot! I'll have to rush home at once! Don't be silly, Rudolph. Santa's miles away and you'll only get lost again. But, but I must see Santa and apologize before he leaves to deliver the Christmas toys. I just must! It's no use, Rudy. You'll never get back in time. Oh dear, I'd hate to miss Christmas with Santa. What should I do? Gee, horse feller. 
I sure like to help him. Hmm, let me think. <laughs> I've got it! Maybe we can get a message through to Santa in time for him to pick you up. I'm going to see Casper the Carrier Pigeon. You wait here, Rudy. All right, Grover. Casper, Casper, yoo-hoo! Casper, here's an airmail special delivery that has to go out right away. Oh, just as I was getting asleep, I might have known it. Hurry, Casper, hurry! Night and day, day and night, the mail must always go through. Seems mighty silly if you ask me. Good luck, Casper. I hope you get there in time. Russ, Russ, Russ. Always on the go. Never a chance to get a decent night's rest. When I was a boy, my father said to me, Casper, get a job of regular hours. But no, had to become a postman. In rain or snow and fog or sleet, the mail must go through. But why must it go through? That's what I want to know. Why? 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 Why through rain? Why through snow? Why through fog? Why through sleet? Always I ask, and always I wonder. Why, 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 why? And in the meantime... Where do you think Rudolph could have gone, Santa? I don't know, Jack, but I'm mighty worried. Oh, Santa, can't we look for him? I'm afraid not, Judy. There isn't time. In a few minutes, we'll have to load the sleigh and start on our Christmas rounds. Poor Rudy. All he can do is hope for the best. Postman's life. Bah! I should have listened to Pap. Special delivery for Mr. S. Claus. Special delivery for Mr. S. Claus. Oh, that's me. Sign here, please. Maybe the letter's about Rudy. It is about Rudy. He's at Grover Groundhog's house, on the other side of the Piney Woods. He wants me to come and get him. Hitch up the reindeers. If I hurry, I can just make it. Here, here, you hitch up the reindeers. The reindeers, quick, the reindeers. Get them all on, rush, hurry. All hands on deck. Hitch the reindeers, quick. What's the idea of getting in my way? Just a second. You got in my way. I did not. You did too. Did not. Did too. Did. Dead. Never mind, boys. Jack and Judy already took care of the reindeers. I'm on my way. Good luck, Santa. Bring Rudy home safe and sound. I will, children. Oh, Grover. Do, do you think Santa will get here on time? I don't know, Rudy. Depends on whether Casper got through or not. If only... Wait a minute. I hear sleigh bells. That must be Santa now. Rudy, are you all right? Oh, yes, Santa. Grover took very good care of me. You gave us all quite a fright, young man. I know, Santa. I gave me quite a fright, too. Bye, Grover. So long, Grover, and thanks for everything. It was a pleasure, Rudy. See you later. Look, Judy, here they come. Hello, Rudy. It's good to see you back again. It's good to be back again, believe me. Did you have lots of adventures? I sure did, kids, and they were all bad. Children, children, I almost forgot. You'd better hurry home at once. Why, Santa? I'm gonna start on my round soon, and unless you're both snug in your beds, I won't be able to stop at your house. Gee, that's right. I guess we'll have to bring our dream to an end. Goodbye, Santa. Goodbye, Rudy. We'll be home in a jiffy on the Dreamland Special. And as for you, young man... Oh, er, lovely night we're having this week, don't you agree? Stop trying to change the subject. I want an explanation for your strange conduct today. I don't know, Santa. I g guess my big red nose just went to my head. Well, perhaps all this has taught you something important. It isn't the color of your nose, it's how you wear it that counts. Yes, Santa, I know that now. Well, there, I guess I'll go to bed. You have a lot of things to do, and I don't want to get in the way. Just a second, Rudy. I think I've got a spot for you tonight. A spot for me? Yes, it's a very clear night with no sign of fog. I'm a little worried about airplanes. Yes, they're all over the place nowadays. How would you like to sit in the back of the sleigh and act as our tail light? Tail light? Oh boy, you bet! 
goodness, it's almost midnight. We'll have to hurry. Winky, Blinky, bring the bag of toys. One bag of toys, coming up. Hop in, Rudy. It's time to start. Fine, Santa. Goodbye, Santa. Happy journey. Get up, everyone. We're off. Ho, Dasher, ho, Dancer. Ho, Prancer and Vixen. On Comet and Cuba, on Donner and Blitzen. Look at me, everybody. I'm a tail light. I'm a tail light. Faster, good reindeers. The children are waiting. Well, well, there's Jack and Judy's house. I think I'll make that our first stop. Ooh, oh, the chimneys get tighter every year. Well, oh, let me see. What would they like best? Is a doll for Judy, a horn for Jack, a purse for Judy, a train for Jack, a ball for Judy, a yo-yo for Jack? Hmm. What can I put in the very top to make them really happy? I know, I've got just the thing. A little toy Rudolph for each of them. Judy, wake up! I hear reindeer on the roof and our stockings are filled. Oh, Santa must have been here. Let's peek out the window, maybe we can still see him. Look, Judy, there's Rudolph. He's blinking his nose at us and he's shouting something. Merry Christmas, Judy. Merry Christmas, Jack. And a very Merry Christmas to everyone! Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history.